another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back with quick hits. Uh, er, So earlier today on uh, the the Zone card, uh, the uh, Andre win, uh, we're back uh, with the second show. We're going to get into Harrison and Perella, and uh, I'm hearing a lot of y'all say that y'all think Perella was robbed. We'll get into what we think, but first, like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, we're going to be back with a uh, quick 3D box, 3D box, and blogs. Please share it. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Hit notifications. All, all, all that. Uh, we're going to be back. Um, I'm going to do a show for the new channel, Texas Boxing. It's in the new YouTube channel. And I'm going to recap uh, Omar Juarez's spectacular win and Jorge Castaneda's big win. Um, just for y'all. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also, there's going to be a link to TACA, the Autism Community in Action. It is Autism Awareness Month. Um, so I'm going to put a link uh, into Taco, which is a great charity that works with autism uh, in, in curing uh, or, um, curing autism. Uh, please share it. Uh, if you can, please donate to it. It's, it's a really worthwhile charity. Everything that we make on this boxing scene, once we get that monetized, will go directly to Taka. Um, so let's get into today's fight. Um, nobody really wanted to take a... Uh, t- <laughs> It was a great day of boxing. It really was. Um, this I, I don't, this was a competitive fight. It was a good fight, a close fight. Um, but no one really wanted to win the fight. Um, honestly, both guys seemed satisfied with the draw. You know, I, I know most people feel Perella won. Okay. Um, you know, I had it 6-6. And I had it 6-6 because I scored the last round for Perella. I thought a draw was completely reasonable. I, I, I wasn't surprised. By the wide scoring, um, no one did anything. No one wanted to win this fight. Like I, I, both guys seemed content with the draw. Neither seemed shocked with the draw. Neither seemed upset with the draw. I, I, I think a draw was the right call. I, I don't think Prowl was robbed. Although, like, who? If he said here, you know, no, I, I don't know. Look, Prowl. It was a battle of the jabs. of Prowl won some of the rounds, and Harrison won some of the rounds. I had six six. Again, if you want to say it's seven five. Or even 8-4. But Perella, I have no problem with that. Uh, but, I mean, neither guy was hurt. Neither guy was ever in control. It was just a jabbing contest. You know? Um, Perella, I, I, I think, took more chances. But Harrison's the classier guy. I, I think, like, if I'd ever seen a draw, I kind of feel like this was a draw. You know? I, I'd say, let's do it again. But I'm really not that interested in seeing it again. I, I, I think Perella... Oh, Corolla showed for himself really well. He did. Um, I, I think 147 was the wrong um, weight class for him because when he got knocked out by Ramos, he was uh, well ahead, outboxing him, and then I, I, I think the weight cut and the drain got to him, and he got knocked out with a couple seconds left. I think 147 is the wrong weight class. I think 54 is the right weight class for him. I think 54, which is the most stacked, most competitive weight class in the sport, just got more interesting. I, I Believe it or not, I think it got more interesting because I think Corolla is going to be a player. You know, Harrison's a player. Harrison beat Charlo. Harrison, you know, he lost him in the second fight, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. If we're saying Charlo is the best guy in the weight class, Harrison's one-on-one with him. Um, and may have won more rounds. He got knocked out in the second fight, so it doesn't matter, but he was winning rounds in that fight, too. Um, so he's there. Um, and, and Perello's right there with him. And I know the boxing triangle, ba- boxing math doesn't work. I, I get it, but what I'm saying is Perello's... A craftsman. He's skilled. I, I I don't think he's going to beat the elite guys, but he's going to be there with everyone else because he's he, he's crafty. He's got skills. He can use his jab. He's a southpaw. He's long. He's six foot one. I want to say he's going to be a tough guy to beat. Um, the top guys in the weight class can beat him. I would take Charlo to beat him. I'd take Castano to beat him. But um, after that, he's going to be competitive with everyone. Rosario. He can outbox these guys. J Rock. Uh, you know, I, I, that's a fun fight. Let's, let's uh, you know, let's see these guys fight each other. Harrison needed a win, 
and he didn't get it. Harrison needed to look good. I understand Harrison had a lot going on in his life. Totally get it. Not upset about it. Not mad about it. Um, but Harrison kind of needed a win. Um, I kind of think we will get a rematch because both guys kind of need the scalp. You know, Perella wants to prove he's a legitimate top 10 guy. And to do that, he's got to get a win like this. Harrison wants to be back in the title picture. And in order to get back in the title picture, you've got to be guys like Perella. Um, so I, as lack, and I don't say if I was lackless because it was okay. It, it was just, there was no urgency to it. Each guy seems fine with going to the scorecards, fine with pressing their luck and seeing how the decision turned out. And that's what we got. Again, I, I think a, a draw is completely, completely satisfactory. I feel this was a drawish type fight. I don't think anyone deserved to win it. You know, and at the same time, neither person lost it. You know, I, I think a draw was fitting. It just wasn't spectacular. I, uh, on the undercard was Omar Juarez, uh, which we're going to do a show on the boxing scene um, channel, was unbelievable. That kid's the future. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, how did you score it? Do you think Perella was robbed? Do you think Perella needed to do more? And also, Roy Jones told Perella that he needed a knockout in the 12th. Is that the right advice? I, I, I don't, I mean, it's, I, I guess it's the right thing to say, but Perello never picked up the pace. Perello seemed completely content going the distance. Like he was happy to be there in the 12th round. And Harrison seemed the same way. Neither guy had any urgency in those last couple of rounds. Neither guy really wanted to win that fight because I feel like neither guy wanted to lose, right? Like, you know, Herm Edwards, we play to win the game where you don't play boxing, but you fight to win the fight. And that guy, they fought not to lose. They fought not to lose, both of them, and neither of them lost, but neither of them won either. So, um, you know, 154 is loaded. Uh, it's interesting to see. I think Perella's a player in the division now, so it's interesting to see where everyone goes. Um, but y'all think Perella was robbed? Give me your scorecards. Let me see those scorecards in the um, in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day, eight to ten minutes, except for Sunday. Only once, only once on Sunday. Um, we do one show tomorrow. Not sure what the topic is yet, but we'll do one show tomorrow. Um, again, um, there'll be a link in the description uh, for Taka, uh, the Autism Community in Action. Please share it on all forms of social media. Please uh, donate to it if you can. Um, also. Um, We'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to take a little break from boxing for a little bit. I've been doing boxing all day. I'm going to take a little break from boxing for a little bit. And uh, I'll be back and do a, a boxing scene. If you go over to the boxing scene channel on YouTube, I'm going to do a breakdown on uh, South Texas' big day, uh, Omar Juarez and Jorge Castaneda. Uh, but it is April 17th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get that to change. Um Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, ooh. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.